What's up guys, Rolf here, and today I'm even has a brand new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Zombies video, and today within this video what we're going to be discussing is the actual Exo Zombies DLC trailer, set to launch on yet again the January 27th, so a week from now the trailer was dropped today, and unfortunately I can't post the gameplay on my channel, seeing as I would get copy strikes just like I did with the Havoc DLC trailer, but instead I'm going to be get, giving you guys some screenshots and fully analysing them, giving you guys all the information you guys need to know that was in the trailer, and and I've picked out the best screenshots, they're going to go in chronological order, so from start to finish, analysing them fully, talking about some new features within Zombies, some old ones from the past such as perks, and all other sorts of stuff, how the money system's going to work, what sort of stuff we can expect to see within the storyline of Zombies, and all that sort of good stuff. So starting off with the first picture here, we actually have a picture of the head of the Atlas Department as you can see. This is the leader of the Atlas Department and in the background you can see the Atlas building that has obviously been infected with the zombies which have blown up the operation that Atlas are trying to achieve. Not too sure what it's going to be at the moment but I believe they are trying to wipe out the human race and just leave it so it is themselves and these zombies obviously are trying to counteract that and trying to blow up the base so they can't be able to do that themselves. And going on to the next picture now, we're going to be looking at this zombie which is coming towards your character and it's not really what we want to focus about within this but we actually, actually want to focus on the outside of the image being the score system, the guns, the exos, the grenades, all that sort of good stuff. So obviously if you look down in the bottom right hand corner you can see EXO clearly highlighted in the bottom right hand corner. This obviously shows you're going to be able to access the exoskeleton within Zombies within Advanced Warfare. I've actually got an image later on in the video showing you guys how you gain access to the exoskeleton which I will be sure to show you in just a minute but for now let's just stick to this photo and on the bottom left hand corner you can see the point system of course unlocking you perks, unlocking you the guns, mystery boxes which I also have a picture and video of later on in the video all the stuff you can do, unlocking doors, all that sort of stuff that's the amount of points you're going to have. Then just above that you see the other character which is of course who you're playing with. That's their amount of points, how much points they have to unlock doors, by mystery boxes, by perks and all that sort of good stuff. And if we take a look at the uh, just above the exoskeleton and the exo zombie, you can see L uh, uh, evacuate so obviously people are trying to get out of the building as quick as they can and just to get away from the zombies so the evacuate sign is flashing of course meaning that you're going to be the only character alive along with the three others that have been mentioned already within the DLC trailer and now onto the next picture we are going to be taking a look at is a very high action uh, scene as we can see here there is the uh, zombies there is what I really want to point out is the uh, bit in the middle of the screen it is just like the ones from Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 where you can pick up special perks that were dropped from some zombies uh, leaving you with say one shot kills uh, I can't remember some of them double XP I believe one of them was giving you uh, double the money for a certain period of time others sort of things like that that you can pick up and this one I believe is what happens later on in the video I'll show you guys that in just a second I can't show you quite now of course because again I am going in chronological order for you guys so it's the best that I can possibly do for you guys without having the gameplay and then if we take a look up the left hand corner we can say biohazard warning and I believe this is going to be what the room of the temperature is at as we saw yesterday within the video the server room was normal and of course I guess you want to keep that as low as possible so keeping the zombies away from the server room meaning they can't destroy the server and make it blow up I suppose that's the objective of the game mode I'm not too sure but I'll have to, make sh uh, have to go and have a look at that in a bit and now moving on to rebooting the exo of course you can see that zombies are going to be able to wipe out your exo these are only the special zombies being the electric zombies wiping out your exo leaving you not being able to double jump uh, use grenades use your points using your perks I really don't know but that's what I'm going off at the moment that's what I'm guessing and of course your exo will reboot as soon as the blue bar in the exo uh, button has completely vanished you'll be able to get your exo back and be able to use that again and now onto a really fun picture which is going to be the exo skeleton 
Here is where you're going to be able to get the exoskeleton and unlock it. There's four on each of the walls as you can see. I don't know if you're going to be able to upgrade the exoskeleton, get better items, maybe be able to upgrade your jump to double jumps and upgrade your reload speed and all that sort of stuff. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm guessing that's what they're going to implement into the game mode when it comes out. Also, just showing that there is another gun and also a kill streak that you can actually gain access to, that being the assault drone, if you press right on your D-pad. So, of course, you're going to be able to access kill streaks in this game. It's really, really interesting as well. I think, suppose you're going to be able to buy those with points and such which will be really really cool now moving on to the next image which is the random box which is returning this of course is amazing you're going to be able to purchase it with the points on the left hand side of your screen and be able to get better and better weapons the wonder weapons as we've seen before in previous zombies videos that i've covered here on my channel you're going to be able to get all the guns in multiplayer some fe new featured guns new ones with different attachments and all that sort of stuff now onto the next video, we're going to be showing one of the special perks that you can see if you kill a zombie that drops one of the tags and you pick this up. As I said late earlier on in the video, if you look at the middle of the screen, this is a chomping sort of effect and this door closes backwards and forwards, allowing you to kill zombies when they run through there. The door will crush them and of course kill them, leaving you guys being able to completely chill out in this door for a bit, just like the trap did in Black Ops 2 I suppose, where you can constantly rebuild the traps and gain access to them. And if we look at the top right hand corner again, we can see more kill streaks such as the assault drone and two sentry guns. So I don't know if that's going to be a whole thing that you actually buy, or if that's just things that appear through the map and maybe you have to stop them from destroying, as well as the STS-12 MK11 returning within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Zombies. Now on to the next image which is going to be the zombies in an acid room as you can see. Maybe this is them completely destroying the atlas base you're about to lose. Maybe you have to quickly cool down the base as quickly as you can. And obviously you can see the atlas exoskeletons in the top left hand corner again. Maybe they can destroy them and then you can regain control to them later on within the missions. I'm not too sure about that one. And then if we look at the right hand corner we can see that there is a care package. You can earn care packages, get yourselves better kill streaks and such things like that. Now onto the next bit which is hounds are returning within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Zombies so there'll be special rounds at round 10, 20, 30 such as there was in Black Ops 1 where there was hounds, dogs that came to attack just like a special round I suppose you could say within Gears of War. These were harder rounds to complete and these were definitely a lot harder than any other round you had to face within zombies. And of course that one's going to be harder testing your ability and making sure you have to kill them. I'm not sure how often that's going to occur but it does look like it will be pretty often if I say so myself. Now onto the last image, this is insta-kill as you can see, that's returning within the bottom of the screen. Uh, that's where you get a one hit kill, one knife, one, uh, one shot, anything like that. You kill them in that one bullet or one melee attack. Then in the bottom right corner we can see the Bulldog is also a weapon within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Zombies. So that's it for today guys, hopefully you have enjoyed, if you have make sure to hit like button down below, subscribe for more daily Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content, I'll be sure to see you guys in my next video.